everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the new e-scoot Paluno Plus step through electric bike. Now e-scoot kindly sent me this bike to test and review and um, I'm very grateful for that and it's um, yeah it's shaping up to be quite a nice bike actually. Now I have previously tested an e-scoot bike, it's back in 2020 and that was um, one of their first models which was the Escoot Voyager. They've moved on quite a bit since then. They've developed quite a strong market in the UK and the EU. And these latest models actually are, are a big improvement over the originals. Now this, this particular bike here has got a substantial battery. It's got a 740 watt hour battery which is a 36 volt 20 amp hour. Uses Samsung cells I believe or possibly LG um, but the other big improvement with this particular bike is it uses a torque sensing pedal assist which completely transforms the riding experience so so far I've done I've done about just come up to eight miles haven't used any um, well actually the, the, the battery was it was starting to dip down, it was starting to sort of lose one bar on the climbs. I mean, I've been, I've been riding it sensibly. I've been using it in level one assist primarily on the flat and I've been knocking it up to level three on the hills. And that seems to be plenty of assist. I've also downloaded the eScoo app onto my phone. So I'm recording the ride on my, on, on the eScoo app. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll jump on it now. I'm, I'm riding my regular route, which is from my home in Cornwall up into Plymouth and up the Plym Valley Trail. So I'm going to be doing about 30 miles today or thereabouts. So it'll be interesting to see how we get as far as battery is concerned. But according to his Scoot's website, it's a 75 mile max range, which I, I think for this kind of battery, if you sensibly is, is certainly um, a fairly realistic figure. I think probably for the everyday rider, probably look at more like 50 miles for this kind of battery. But yeah, we'll see how we get on anyway. And um, yeah, go from there. <clears throat> right, let's run through a couple of the pros and cons of the e-scoot Paluno Plus. Right, first of all, it's very comfortable. It's got a very nice upright riding position and the low step frame makes it really easy to get on and off the bike. The handlebars are what I would call a Dutch style handlebar. So they've got a generous sweep back and they've got a nice rise to them as well. So what this does is put you in a very, a very natural upright riding position. Great if you've got lower back problems. The motor is a, is a Bafang G20 hub motor. So it's, it's very smooth fairly quiet but the big one for me is a torque sensing assist it's completely transformed like i said i've tested the voyager before and that was that was great but cadence systems have got a very on off feel to them you know you've got power you haven't this one feeds in the power gradually in in sort of response to how much force you're putting through the pedal so it gives you very instantaneous but also a very smooth and intuitive assist that's a big plus for me. Another big plus of your scoop is the big battery capacity. Now, usually on bikes at this price point, you're looking at around about a 500 watt hour battery. This has got a 740 watt hour battery, 36 volt, 20 amp hour, and it uses premium cells, which for me is, is amazing. Now, the Escoot Paluno Plus currently retails for £1,399 but they are doing an introductory offer because it's a new model for 2023 they're actually selling it for £1,199 for a limited time now I will put a link in the description I really do think it's good value for money Now it's got front suspension, which seems to work quite well. It's got nice Kenda K935 tyres. Come on in. 
which roll quite well. They're 700 by 45C. The tread on the tyres should make the Scoop Luno Plus suitable for riding on the tarmac and gravel. It's got a really nice heavy duty pannier rack at the back. And it's got mud guards. So, all in all, I'm really impressed with your Scoop Luno Plus so far. Anyway, let's talk about the negatives. There are a few. First of all, it's a very heavy bike. Weighs in at around 25 kilos, which is about the norm for a, for a sort of step through e-bike of, of this kind. The other thing I'm not too keen on are the brakes. They are mechanical disc brakes. They're unbranded. Well, they're not unbranded. They're from a brand I'm not familiar with. And obviously brakes do go for a bedding in period. So they may improve over time, but they do lack bite. You've really got to pull them in to get them to work. But apart from the weight and the brakes, there's not really an awful lot to dislike about the Escoot Paluno Plus. The motor produces adequate power. It is also road legal, which means that uh, it's uh, certified for use in the UK and EU. The pedal assist does cut out at 15.5 miles an hour or 25 kilometers an hour. And if you're on the flat, it's actually quite easy to pedal beyond the assist level. It just feels like you're pedaling a heavy bike. But early on, I was riding along on the flat and I was up to sort of 18, 19 miles an hour without too much problem. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now and I'll report back to you guys in a minute. Right, we're now going to do a hill climb test. This is quite um, quite a big hill. It's about 400 feet of elevation gain. It goes from the Plim Valley River near Yelverton up to the moors. It's quite a steep hill in places. I'm going to put it in level three. And we're going to see how we get on. Wish me luck, guys. I'm just starting to climb now. This one does drag on for quite a while. I think we'll uh, go up to level four. Heart rate's currently at 130 BPM. at 10% thirteen percent still in level four Heart rate's at 130. And just to give you an idea, usually when I do this climb on my regular bike, my heart rate's well up in the 150s.
There we go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, so eventually put it in a level four. Did actually drop down to three bars momentarily, but it's back up to four again now. So anyway, I'm gonna carry on riding and I'll um and I will report back to you guys in a bit. Right, well, we've made it to Borough Tour. Currently done about 15 miles. Still showing four bars on the battery, which is encouraging. Did drop down a little bit when I went up that steep hill earlier on. Just gonna see how the Scoop Paluno Plus performs off-road on a bit of gravel. rocky bumpy track this one seems to be coping okay the tire pressures are probably a little bit on the high side for riding off road you'd want to drop them down probably by about 10 psi We've had a lot of rain here in the UK, so everything's still soaking wet at the moment. Right, I'm going to wrap this up now, folks. I've still got about 15 miles left to do and about 16 miles so far so my total ride for today is going to be about 31 miles i will put um a screenshot of my total mileage and route for this particular ride and i'll also let you know how much battery i used how much battery power i used based on my initial test ride so far i think your scoop paluno plus is a really good bike it's comfortable, the pedal assist is very smooth and intuitive. So far the battery range is looking promising and the performance is more than adequate to get you up steep hills. Like I said, the only things I don't like about it, obviously it's a heavy bike and um, even now the brakes are not great. I would be inclined to upgrade the brakes to hydraulic brakes or maybe Zoom HB100 XTEX which are like a hydro-mechanical brake. Now, I will be doing a separate video on the, on the HB100. I've actually got some turning up in a couple of days, and I'm gonna be fitting them to, a, to an e-bike to see how they perform. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be doing more content on the Scoop Luno Plus. I'm, I'm actually planning on doing a range test in my next video, so I'm gonna be attempting to ride from my hometown in the south of Cornwall up to the north coast of Cornwall and back again. It's uh, like a coast to coast to coast challenge. Now that ride is about 77 miles. I've done it before my road bike. Now it will be interesting to see if I could do it on the Scoop Paluno Plus in one go. So that'll be my next video anyway guys. All right, see you later.